finished a great session at the Key West Food and Wine Festival with Tad Carducci, uh, restaurant owner, mixologist, uh, knower of all things about liqueurs and liquor, uh, spirits and wine, I'm sure. Uh, we just had a fabulous time, though, and learned a whole lot. Tad, why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the session you just led? Uh, well, the seminar you just did was called uh, the, fi uh, the Finer Things in Life, and it was about aperitifs and digestifs, uh, basically about, about spirits in general, a little bit about cocktail history in, in uh, America from the 1800s till now. Uh, a little bit about home mixology and giving people sort of tips and tricks to make my job obsolete. Hopefully they didn't, hopefully they didn't listen to that part. And then uh, we did, uh, made them four cocktails, pretty unique, uh, interesting cocktails using some incredible spirits and showed them how to make them and then uh, tasted them and, and just had a good time. Danced around a little bit. People loved it. The review, reviews have been just uh, oh. off the chart. Uh, Ted, I mean, mixology is really getting a revival right now. You know, I mean, I, I just came from the Hurricane Club in New York, and then uh, Smuggler's Cove and uh, Bar Agricole in San Francisco. Yeah. I mean, that they're really taking cocktails seriously these days. Uh, is is that the real thing? Do you think we're really getting back to really the the, the real cocktail from from the period when things were just kind of sweet and colorful? Absolutely, uh, 100%. I mean, I think in my opinion, we're already there. This this is a movement that's been going on now for right. you know like seven or eight years, very strong, uh, where bartenders around the country are using great spirits, great ingredients, uh, everything that can be made by them by them they make. Uh, so I I think we're kind of there. I don't think that. The cocktails that we're seeing in those bars are ever going to be mainstream because they take a little too much work uh, for for bars, you know, throughout the country to, to be right. able to do or even to want to do, frankly. Uh, but for those bars, absolutely, yeah, it's it's great for me to be able to do something that uh, that I love, that is a craft, and that is something that has been done mm -hmm. for a couple of hundred years by yeah. guys better than me and. Uh, Older than one thing, one thing. I, at Bar Anchor Cole in San Francisco, the bartenders take a straw and they taste every drink they yeah, make. Yeah. Do you do that? Uh, I did uh, for a while until, <laughs> and then I realized, fell down. until I realized that my cash outs at the end of the night were taking way too long. Uh, no, in general, I don't. I don't anymore. Um, I think I've, I've been doing this for so long, and um, and coming from the right. wine side and being able to cook as well. At this point, I think I have it down. Um, you know, I know when something's balanced. The only time I'll, t I'll taste something is, is if I throw ingredients together that are really right. odd. Um, or, you know, if I know that my limes, say, are a little drier, or less acidic, uh, then I'll taste. But not every, not every yeah. thing. But, but that's fine when they do. Yeah, absolutely. Tad, what a pleasure to have you. I think you taught us a lot, and uh, you're a great addition to the QS Food and Wine. Thank you. Good to have you. Okay. <laughs>